OK, we have a turkey command now. We'll go back over here. We've just written our turkey command, which and we've just installed the turkey.sh command into the um, um, into the systems area slash usr slash local slash bin. Now what we need to do is write a man page for it. I am adamant I will never let anyone install software onto the system in a systems area unless it's documented. And generally, I require a man page documentation for this. Man pages are easy to write. Um, they use a weird markup language that I call uh, GROF or TROF or NROF. Uh, there's a lot of different names. They all end in a ROF. So let's go over to our systems area here, USR slash local slash. And then the man pages must be down in the man directory. And as I told you before, they're broken up by whether this is a command or whether it's a systems command or in most or whether it's a fi configuration file. In most cases, you'll want to write your man page and put it down under man1. So let's go down into man1. And what we see is we have no man pages. The easiest way to write a man page is steal one from the system and then um, modify it. So let's steal one from the system. I'm sure that this is not just not going to work unless I have root rights. So let me become root. Um, OK, I'm root. Let's steal. Um, I believe the man pages for the system are stored in slash USR slash, oh boy, share slash man. And then there's a parallel systems down here. There's um, man1, man2, man, all of the mans. And actually, there's man pages if you uh, DE, if you speak German, FR, if you speak French, JA for Japanese, so on and so forth. Uh, and those may or may not be installed on your system. Um, and they may or may not be full, depending on whether you installed that software. OK, there should be. Uh, so let's go down under man1, and let's just see what's there. Um, well, there's 2,500 files. Um, one of these must be a sample. Let's take the cut command, because I bet that's a simple command. OK, and we're going to install that right where we are now, only we will rename that to be the name of our script, turkey.sh. And it looks like we've got to add a dot one and a dot gz, because this happens to be uh, on our system, um, the man pages are stored in, as a gzip encrypted formats. Um, some Linux systems, some Unix systems do not do uh, do not store these as encrypted. Uh oh, where am I? I goofed up. I installed that in the wrong area. Uh, let me go over to where I'm supposed to be in USR slash local slash man man slash man one. And then I'll just move this from the area where I actually installed this over to there. OK, that's sort of a clumsy way of doing it, but you know, it works. Now, let me change the ownership of this just so that I don't have to edit this as root. I'll change the ownership. Um, oops, change owner. Um, Turkey to demandle. Um, oh, other way around. Uh, bad syntax again. Turkey. The owner comes first, and then the name of the files you want to change ownership on. OK, now I should be able to edit that if I become demandle. Um, mm, I could change group access, but there's no reason I won't. So let me become demandle once again. Um, I happen to be in the same area here. Let me, um, uh-oh, I bet I can't g-unzip this, though. Um, let me try it. G-unzip. Permission denied. Let me go back. Whoa. Oh, man. I goofed up there. 
let me become go back and become root. Go back into my local area. Back down into man. Man 1. Now let me un G unzip uh, that file. And what I have here is now a file which I bet I can edit. Let me see what it looks like before I become um, me again. Well, indeed, there is a markup here. So, wow, that looks complex. But let's take a look here. Let's get back out of this area. Let me uh, exit and become me. I've got to go back into slash USR slash local slash man slash man one. And let's just for the curiosity, let's do the turkey. Let's type man turkey dot sh. And indeed, I've got a uh, it, it. I've got a man page. So let me then go into this and let me um, um, with Emacs or your favorite editor. That brings that up here, and we should whoa. Well, OK, good enough. Uh, well, OK, good enough. Now we can go in and edit this file. In spite of what it says here about do not modify, I ignore that. We just edit that file. And um, the first thing we're going to want to do is name. They call this the cut command. We're going to call this the um, turkey S dot sh command. Um, remove sections of each file. Oh. This must be what the thing does. Um, so we're going to put in here um, command to write dumb little log file into slash home. Slash demandle slash logs. Okay, and um, since and then this is the area here. We'll have to put in our turkey. Dot sh, and then this has options and things like that. I think we can just get rid of those. There are no real options, so we'll get rid of those. Uh, description, add additional information here. Oh, I remember. This little guy here is a comment statement in their, um, um, in their language. Um, OK, print. OK, well, with that, I will need to do some more work on this, and then I'll come back to you with another part, uh, finish up part of the video. But there's no reason for you to watch me um, um, make all the mistakes I'm going to make here. So, okay, bye-bye. Um,